Hi, it's the ADHD Advocate again. This time I wanted to talk to you about the importance of planning. Now, to many ADDs, planning is the word that uh, basically fills them with horror and dread, um, mostly because it's too boring. And as we know, um, when you have ADHD, if something's too boring, it is just basically impossible to complete. The brain just doesn't switch on for things that aren't authentically interesting. And unfortunately, planning very much falls into that category. Now, the problem is, is that the very thing that, you know, ADD is can't stand is the very thing that will actually be the making of them. It's the thing that will actually free up an ADD to live the life that uh, they want to lead, the life of their dreams, the life that they just can't seem to to have, um, no matter how hard they try or want to be able to achieve. So that's the difficulty, is how, how can an ADD do the thing that their brain just can't bring them to the table to do? Now, I coach a lot of people and um, yeah, planning is definitely one of the things that uh, gets in everyone's way. And um, as they say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. It took me a while as someone with ADHD to appreciate this. Um, my husband was always begging on about, you know, what's your plan? For instance, when I first started the ADHD Advocate, did I have a business plan? No, I didn't have a business plan. Uh, did I have any idea of kind of the numbers I wanted to make? No, nope. hadn't thought about that either. All I knew was that I wanted to create a business where I could help people, educate and inspire them to understand and embrace their ADHD and, you know, coach people. Um, I just didn't think and plan uh, for all the more boring details of, um, of the business. Uh, now, I didn't fail because I didn't plan, but at the same time, I probably didn't grow as much as I wanted to, as quickly as I wanted to, in terms of being able to spread my message as far as I wanted to. And, you know, obviously given my mission, that's important. And so if I did plan, I probably would have been able to reach a lot more people a lot quicker. Um, planning is so important. It does take time, and that's not something that uh, ADD is like to spend. Um, we think it's a waste of time to do things like planning when you could be taking massive action. But it's true, planning, just has so many benefits, so many benefits. Um, firstly, a lot of us ADD is we have so many ideas, we want to be able to do everything. And because of our time blindness, we feel that that's pretty achievable. Now, you ask an ADD to start literally setting out the day, the hour blocks alongside their tasks, allocating the tasks, the available time that they have that day. And it's amazing, it's amazing amazing the effect that just that exercise has on someone with ADHD that's never done it before. Um, they go from a place of overwhelm. For instance, I had a, a client that uh, I was coaching that when they first got on the call, they were completely overwhelmed. I didn't think we were actually going to be able to do a coaching session because they had so much to do. They didn't know where to start. They were completely dysregulated. And um, I got them to start this exercise. You know, okay, what do you need to do? So going through the to-do list, as she went through the to-do list, she saw, hang on, actually, there's not so much involved in this particular activity. And, oh, hang on, yeah, this would only take this much time. And as she went through the to-do list, she was able to allocate, you know, um, tasks to different days and put them, you know, reserve them on those other days. So out of her head, onto paper, somewhere else, but definitely recorded. And then just look, at today, the snapshot, but snapshot of today. And so with the remaining tasks she had, she then needed to, you know, slot them into those available times she had in her day. And she was able to do that. And the feeling that she had of being able to, you know, concretely see that she'd be able to achieve these things. And that really, this was all that she had to do. It was amazing. Like she went from being completely overwhelmed to wow I can do this and that 
is just exactly where um, ADDs need to be because so much of it is in our head. We tend to catastrophize and we think that things are a lot worse than what they are. And we have so much more to do than what we actually have to do. We have a really hard time prioritizing um, things. You know, what's important, what actually needs to be done today. Um, there's a whole phenomenon about, you know, there's now and there's not now. And everything's now basically for us, which as you can imagine, um, is going to definitely uh, add to the overwhelm, which we really don't need. So if you're out there, ADHD, overwhelmed, not knowing where to start, what to do, you think you've got too much on, get it down, get it down on paper. Yeah, set yourself some very smart goals for the day, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, time bound. And you will see for yourself, you will see exactly what you have on, what actually needs to be done today, as opposed to everything just in your head and everything needing to be done at the same time. So it's definitely worth setting aside that time, even though you will rail against it. It's not that natural tendency of an ADD to want to do this kind of planning, but give it a go, try it, and I swear you'll be converted. And then we get you going through, doing it every day, become a habit, and before you know it, well, I won't say you won't ever be overwhelmed, but your overwhelm will be reduced significantly. I'm going home.